A week ago, I told you all that I was planning to lift 100 tonnes throughout January. Well, I'm now almost 24 tonnes in and things are going well. I'm even ahead of schedule. So I thought it was a good time to talk about some of the things I've learned and considered so far. Welcome to Lawrence Lifts. The first note is that I didn't really plan the challenge all that carefully. 100 tonnes seemed like a nice round achievable number, so I did the maths to work out it would mean about 3200 kilograms per day, and so if I did 3 exercises, 5 sets of 5 reps at about 50 kilograms, then I'd easily hit it, so that seemed fine. But then I realised I couldn't just do squat, bench and row every day. You're not supposed to work the same muscles two days in a row in order to give them time to recover and grow stronger, so that meant I needed to do a PPL or push-pull leg split. OK, that's fine, but then there are only the five big compound exercises – squat, bench, overhead press, row and deadlift – so I couldn't do three of them each day. But that's OK, I can include accessories as well, so this is what I did. This works fine as a basic motivational thing, however if you're actually taking it as a challenge that you might try to game a little bit, you quickly realise it's a lot easier to do a, a set of 10 deadlifts with 50 kilograms than it is to do a set of 5 with 100, so that way you can do a lot more sets. That sort of happened to me by mistake on day three when I was doing the Romanian deadlifts as an accessory, and so that's why my first pull day was quite so successful, boosting me ahead of the goal line. I haven't done that again, I've been trying to stick to higher weights, closer to my limit, so I'm always pushing myself a bit more, and I think that's working well. The second pull day was another high scorer, but that's because I moved deadlifts to pull day, and let me tell you, 100kg deadlifts was not me taking it easy on myself. The next flaw in this exercise program is what to count as a kilogram. Sure, looking at what weight is on the bar is easy, but do calf raises count even though the bar only moves a short distance? What about squats where I'm lifting nearly all my body weight as well as the weight on the bar? I decided fairly arbitrarily that calf raises counted at 25% of the actual weight on the bar because I move it about a quarter of the distance of all the other lifts, and then I was just going to ignore how much of my body weight I was moving because that would just make everything horribly complicated. Of course, this means that when I do reverse lunges, I'm putting in a lot of effort for a relatively small score, but eh, I'm basically okay with that. The legs are big muscles and need a lot of work. I think what I'm trying to say here is that this is a slightly silly challenge that I'm doing as a bit of fun and, and to motivate me. I certainly don't recommend it as a proper weightlifting program for anybody, especially not myself. So now I've criticised it and said how bad it is, let, let's be a bit more positive. The main problem I've had with weightlifting recently has been motivation. I've been meaning to get back into it for several years now, but I keep getting distracted and lazy and saying, oh, I'll, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, and then suddenly it's 11pm and there isn't any more later available. Having a set programme and also reporting on it to all of you, some of my daily updates have picked up 1200 views, I can't, I can't admit failure in front of that many people. This gives me enough of a nudge that I've actually been sticking with it. So it's been really good for me from that point of view. Another thing I think I did a bit wrong was just throwing myself in at the deep end. I'd been meaning to do a few warm-up workouts during December to get used to weights again and to get my muscles ready for it, but the I'll do it later happened again and so it just didn't happen. That meant on the first, I did my first remotely heavy squats in far too long and had serious doms the next few days. My legs were still hurting on the Wednesday when I was supposed to be doing my second leg day, which would normally have tempted me to skip it and, and get into it later. Um, are you seeing a pattern here? But because I'd said I would, I went ahead with it anyway, although admittedly with slightly lighter weights than normal, and actually I felt much better afterwards. Saturday was the third leg day, and I feel mostly fine now, so I can say with a fairly high degree of confidence that the best way to deal with multi-day DOMS is to just push through it, do some more exercise, and you'll feel much better. I'm a little bit worried about this afternoon's workout though. I did a HIIT workout with some friends this morning, which I am still a little achy from, but given what I've said, I don't think I can count that as an excuse. <laughs> I was wondering whether to count it as the workout for today, but I kept a vague count as I was doing it, and I don't think I really claimed to have lifted more than a ton in total. Most of it was jumping around, which is hard, but in a very different way. I also considered counting it as sort of a null day, so neither a success nor a failure, just not counting it at all. But that would mean then extending the challenge into February, and I don't want to do that, so I think I'll just be doing an additional workout today. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? The good news is, it's mostly my legs that are hurting from the HIIT workout, and uh, today is supposed to be a push day, so I might well be okay. So, thank you to everyone who's been watching my updates. I hope they've been interesting, and maybe even motivational. If I can do it, you can too. <laughs> 
I'm thinking of following this up with some discussions on some of the real weightlifting programs I've tried in the past, so if you'd be interested in that, let me know in the comments, and of course, make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next update.